Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. Today I am here with a cyberpunk optimization guide. This is not clickbait. Is it possible to hit 60 FPS while driving in cyberpunk 2077? Yes it is. But how? When? At what cost? In this video, I will explain all that, along with gameplay test videos. If you do end up enjoying this video, then please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's dive in. So, I will show you guys three types of settings in this video. First one, 720p resolution, fidelity FX off. Second one, 1080p with fidelity FX on. And the final settings, AZ optimizer, settings comparison. In resolution scaling, we have static and dynamic fidelity FX. Static means the resolution scale will be constant. And in dynamic, the resolution will reduce based on the target FPS. Means the resolution will be 100 if the FPS is above the target. If FPS is struggling to hit target, then the resolution will reduce. First, let's try 720p without fidelity FX. Attention all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported around Eden Beach Mega Ride. Stanislaus Zabisco likely at the scene. Herp is a known captain among scavengers with multiple smuggling priors. City officials have a reward on offer for neutralizing Zabisco and his crew. Seven twenty P is playable without fidelity effects. If you turn on fidelity effects, you might get sixty FPS, but for that, you have to compromise the quality.
Now let's try 1080p, here we will use Fidelity FX, to get an FPS boost. Attention all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported around Eden Beach Mega Ride. Stanislaus Zabisco likely at the scene. Purpose a known captain among scavengers with multiple smuggling priors. City officials have a reward on offer for neutralizing Zabisco and his group. I've been playing this game for a while using this custom setting, and I really like the experience. The quality is good, and also the FPS is decent. I am not saying that this is the best setting to play this game, it's all up to personal preference. about getting 60 fps in this game with similar specs, I mean with a mid-range PC or laptop. It's kind of impossible, yes, you can hit 60, but not stable 60 fps. If you watched videos with 60 fps gameplay already with mid-range GPU, then try yourself. You'll understand that it's only when you slowly drive or exploring the world. If you already drive a fast car in the night city with lots of lights and buildings, then you know what I am talking about. No optimization settings can beat that situation. If you want 60 FPS, then you can scale the resolution, use third-party apps, all of these things will work, and you will get 60 FPS. But trust me, you won't like that 60 FPS experience. Because you'll have to compromise the quality for the FPS. contact with him a few days ago. We don't plan to... Uh-huh. 
Understood. I'll inform his family. We're being attacked! I am a fan of FPS games like Valorant, Apex Legends, etc. I am playing those games with around 120 plus FPS. Still, I am satisfied with the 40 FPS I am getting in this game. Because for an open world game like Cyberpunk, 60 FPS will be a good experience. But, good quality 40 to 50 FPS is enough for a mid-range PC. What I am trying to say is that, instead of going for high FPS, go for the average FPS with good quality. If you are confused to choose the settings, try the first settings if you want 720p gameplay. For 1080p try the second settings. If you want good quality along with decent performance, then try the third one. If you are struggling to get FPS, or want more FPS, then you can use the AZ optimizer. I will provide the link in the description. For testing, I am using 1080p without fidelity FX. Yes, you will get an FPS boost after using this tool. Here is the gameplay test comparison video of the AZ Optimizer. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon.